now please join hands for MP Ali Estasi. Good evening, everyone. It's a great privilege, a great honor, and very, very exciting to be here uh, tonight. Now, as you know, a lot of friends here, Mona, Amir, Amir, and many, many other volunteers have worked tirelessly uh, to make this uh, festival a great success. Uh, to me, has fallen the easiest job that you could uh, conceivably think of, and that is to introduce uh, an individual a member of our family here in Toronto who truly needs no introduction. And of course, I'm referring to uh, the person who uh, holds a very high position uh, in the city of Toronto, but who recognizes uh, that there is no need to pit one part of our great city against another. Uh, there's no need to engage in uh, wedge politics, uh, but to have a big vision uh, that is worthy of all of us here in Toronto. I'm talking about someone who is looked to as a partner by not only the federal government, but the provincial government. Uh, when this person's name comes up, uh, everyone knows that you have to consult with him, uh, and he understands our city better than anyone else. I'm also talking about someone who understands and appreciates full well that Toronto has to be a center and a hub for arts and culture. In addition to all those amazing traits that I've uh, listed off, uh, he is also someone who has proven time after time that he is an amazing friend to the Iranian community. Just to give you an example, over the course of the past, I would say, seven or eight months, on two uh, distinct occasions, we, we watched as the city of uh, Toronto dimmed its lights. Uh, the first one uh, was in the aftermath of the uh, terrorist attack in Tehran, uh, and the second one, uh, more recently, after we all heard about the devastating uh, earthquake in uh, Karamchum. So without much further ado, I'd be very, very grateful if you could all join me and give a very, very warm welcome to His Worship, John Tory. Thank you. <laughs> for those uh, kind words of introduction. And I want to start off myself by expressing here in person uh, to you and through you to uh, everybody here in Toronto and, and uh, of course in Iran, our condolences on behalf of everybody that is resident uh, here in Toronto uh, in, in the aftermath of the earthquake. We do show, as one of the small but I think very symbolic ways in which we can show our collective sympathy and solidarity with people when there are bad things that happen in the world. Uh, we show that by dimming the lights on the Toronto sign, which now has become a very important and powerful symbol of, of how we're feeling, whether it's happy uh, or sad. And I, uh, it was something that I was sad to have to do, but proud to be able to do out of respect for, uh, especially uh, the people in our Iranian community here in Toronto. Um, I am thrilled to be here at this uh, festival. I've just come back from spending two days in New York where uh, we were selling the city to people who might want to come and invest and create jobs here. And yes, I talked about artists and, and, and arts and culture and how important that was to expressing the soul of our city and to bringing us together uh, because arts and music and film and, and things like that are universal languages that everybody uh, can, uh, can appreciate together. And that's important to keeping us together. But I also talked, and I was more interesting to hear when I listened, the people in New York, Americans and others, talk about the recognition they had for the fact that this was a place, they used the word open. I, I often expand upon that slightly by saying this is a city that prides itself uh, throughout uh, on being a city with open arms, open hearts, and open minds. And it's so important at a time when other parts of the world are looking inward and turning themselves inward that we continue to reinforce what has made this country great, which is that we have welcomed people to this country from all over the world, people of all faiths and all nationalities and skin colors and sexual orientations, and we've said, we are going to take you as you are. We, are going to, we know that no matter who you are or where you come from, you're going to add uh, to the fabric of this great city. And we have to continue to remind ourselves that that is what has made the city great and admired, is that open arms, open hearts, and open mind kind of approach that I hope epitomizes what you see uh, in the city in which you uh, live. 
And I, I will say uh, one more thing, which is that I just come, I literally came from the northeast part of Scarborough, where I opened uh, for this month the Hindu Heritage Month. And I sat there, as I would say here, because the, because the Cineran Film Festival is equally important on this, that it is so important that we understand more about each other, because what makes up Iranian culture and, 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 and traditions and so on has become part of our culture and traditions because we are a city where 51% of the people who live here were born outside of the country. And so it is important that we have events like this, not just so that those with Iranian background can celebrate their own heritage and culture, but so that we can come to understand it, we, the rest of us, who are not privileged and blessed enough to be Iranian. And I want to just finish uh, by saying to you uh, that, uh, that I, I am I, I, a word of thanks and congratulations to Amir and to Amir and to all of the talent who is here. I should tell you, by the way, that there is a requirement I want to bring to your attention uh, in the law. It's a little bit of an odd law. You may not have heard about it, but when you go to the airport to go back overseas, uh, your bags will be checked there to make sure that you've done enough shopping here in Toronto. <laughs> so I'm just avoiding an embarrassing moment at the airport to tell you that if you could find a little time during the festival to do some shopping, it'll be a much happier situation uh, at the airport because it would be embarrassing to be sent uh, back downtown. I hope the festival goes very well. I am very proud that something like this has now achieved its third year in the City of Toronto of many more to come. Uh, and I hope that all of you enjoy all of the films this weekend. And thank you very much to all the sponsors and supporters for making it such a big success, which in turn contributes to the success of this uh, great City of Toronto that we call home. Thank you very much.